Yesterday, we spoke with dog behaviorist and trainer Joss Leverett from the hit show Canine Intervention on Netflix. Today, we do a Q&A with Joss, but first we sat down with Dr. Keith Harper from Vet and Care Corporation, who has worked closely with Joss and his team, California Canine Solutions. Take a look. We are here with Dr. Keith Harper the second. He is a partner with Vet and Care Corporation, 10 years experience, who has been working with Joss and his team for two years now. Thank you so much, Dr. Harper, for joining us today. How has been your experience with uh, Joss and his team? It's been fantastic. Um, coming to the facility, looking at their training tactics and learning a lot myself. I'm mm -hmm. taking them home to start implementing them with my two-year-old Husky, who I've been having problems with. Do you think his training uh, techniques harm or help an animal? I think they help more so the animal and the clients who have these animals who are frustrated beyond belief and are looking at options that may not be for the best interest of the animal, just to say the least. Mm -hmm. I think his techniques are sound techniques and they fit the circumstances and they have results. Right, right. So when he's training, he's training a German Shepherd different than a Shih Tzu. And that's how time time, you Yes, I'm so sorry. From time to time, yes. The temperament of the animal is what matters most. Sometimes you see uh, more aggression in Chihuahuas than the large breed German Shepherds, but you have to adjust to the particular issues of that animal to try to de escalate them and to improve them. Sure, thank you. And the, we were talking about a petition earlier with Joss, and you know, it's a big deal. And a petition like that can ruin somebody's reputation. So, what advice would you give to someone who is not educated on training techniques? Uh, should they reach out to their vet and ask them questions before setting a petition out? There's nothing harmful in having that dialogue with your veterinarian. And if your veterinarian isn't so um, exposed to training tactics, you know, local trainers, do your own research, and mostly try it out for yourself. Thank you so much for joining us today. Now you're venturing out on your own. Uh, I do have a phone number if people would like to reach out to you, and you're in Hayward and Alameda, California. Is that right? Well, okay. Alameda, California, primarily. Um, soon um, the facility in Hayward will be open and uh, welcome to help as many pets as we can. Thank you so much. You can reach uh, Dr. Harper at 510-426-8114. And we thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. My question to you is, are there really evil dogs out there or do we bring that out in them? I wouldn't say they're evil. Uh, yeah. no, definitely not evil. Uh, right. I think that, 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 that certain behaviors can, you know, build up from frustration, certain build from, from being teased, from being, you know, abused. Yeah. Uh, I think it's all kind of an action reaction type of thing. I don't think that the dog really is out to do anything. Now, again, we talk about like a dogs to have this high prey drive and this high desire to chase small animals and, and, and win. And, 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 you know, th these type of things are in certain breeds, you know, sure. especially in our working breeds. So you have to make sure that you're giving them a constructive, job and not a dist otherwise they'll be destructive so it's not that they're evil i think that they just um are just being who they are as far as instinctual and certain dogs have different levels of predatorial instincts you know you can get a little dog that is super feisty and will go chase and kill like uh, uh you know like uh, uh rodents and stuff you know that's what they were originally bred for and you have yeah. someone who sit on the couch and wouldn't touch it you know so it's like there's a certain level of confidence not the, like i say it's not the the fighting a dog it's, a, it's not the dog in the fight is fighting the dog, right? So you say like that dog that has that, that, that determination is a, a diff, you know, that's just, you have to give that kind of dog a different kind of job. Otherwise they're gonna create that job. And they'll, they'll be that, that dog with you. They'll push you around, they'll, they'll bully you, they'll bite you because they think that like, this is who they are, you know? And there's people like that on the schoolyard. There's people, there's bullies, yeah. or there's dominant people in the workforce, you know? And if you don't have a grip on that, sometimes your instinctual habits will kind of get in the way with being civilized, <laughs> you know? It's true. So, I like that you said that they pent up uh, this anger. If you're insta constantly instigating or teasing an animal, they're going to get upset and snap. That will make a dog upset. Yeah, for sure. So you got to yeah. make sure that, you know, you're giving them the proper information. Sure. Uh, making sure you're giving them the proper experience, the proper environment and uh, making sure you're always training. Uh, what advice would you give to people who want to get an animal, but they don't have the time? 
do they get it? I mean, if you're going to have children, you're going to have the time. Otherwise, yeah. the school Instagram is going to raise your child. So if you're going to get a dog, you know, whatever, that lack of stimulation and that boredom is going to train your dog. And then it's just going to make your life more of a headache. I mean, it's, I think everybody needs to have, you know, it's not accessory. You know, you buy, yeah. you know, a phone and even, you know, this, is, can't, this can go on the shelf, but a dog can't, you know, they're living, they're breathing, you know, they need maintenance, they need, they need exercise, they need care, they need, you know, touch and feeding. And so it's like, you can't, you know, it definitely takes, you gotta, you know, it's a sacrifice that you make when you, when you get a dog, bring a dog in your life, but the reward is so fulfilling because they bring so much to people, you know, and they're just so yeah. uh, amazing. And they, you know, it's nothing like having a dog. Right. And also families. Thank you very much, by the way, for that. Uh, families who get dogs for their kids, you know, oh, my kid will have this responsibility. But usually the parents end up taking it. I saw in one of your episodes, uh, the woman, she took care of the dog and she ended up being controlling after the, I, I can't remember what episode it was, but it was a beautiful Spanish family. They were so cute. Yeah, episode they had a little, yeah, a little poodle. Yeah, yeah. So that was just that. And that's very typical. You know, some people are very, you know, she had all boys, you know, her husband was uh, was away, you know, like incarcerated. And yeah. you know, it basically is a situation where, you know, she wanted this girl. She just wanted her little girl. I mean, think about it. Like we all like even for a guy, I'm like, oh, I got the boy and I'm like a little girl. And I'm excited about the girl, too. But it's like, you know, sometimes we have these these desires and, and, and our visions. And like I said, she didn't get it. So then she picked what was happening and it was getting in the way of what Andrew was trying to do because the whole purpose was for Andrew to have a service dog. So sometimes you don't, you, you know, it, sometimes it takes them, you know, you have to get, just get firm and get real with people. And I guess maybe that's part of the New York in me. It's like, I could just go ahead and just cut to the chase and you know, BS and just get to it. And, you know, my mom's like that, you know, and it's like, sometimes yeah. you gotta keep it real with people. And it's like, I don't want to sit there and have to fluff around for so long. Like sometimes you have to do that a little bit, but it's like, People respect you more if you just cut to it and get real. And then, like I said, we only have so much time to do this. I'm up and down. We're trying to film a show. Yeah. You know, she's slowing up the whole process. And it's like, not for entertainment. Like, none, all that was real. And I didn't, you know, I, I don't try to be like too hard with people, but sometimes if you don't like stand up and like say, hey, this is not going to change if you don't change. And then, and then people will get it. And then from at that point, as a leader, I got to say, good job you're doing great let's keep you know what i mean and reward that because that is a change for her and it's uncomfortable because that's who she right. is and what she wants to be so it's a change for people it's a change for the dogs you know i have to make sure that i'm you know juggling everything right and you know make sure you know everybody's sensitivity levels are different nowadays and you know or just period that's just how it is so we have to always just be conscious of sure. uh, everybody's levels of, of uh you know we live in a very different world. When I was a kid, <laughs> do the right thing, kid. Right. <laughs> if yeah. Not. yeah. And they you know, I think that it's like, see, I think back in the day, I think it was like what they want now is like this purely positive world. And I think that, you know, there is, you know, back in the day, it's like old school, hardcore. And then now it's like almost like too soft. And it's like, I think we all now we know, we, I think we're actually at this place where everybody's kind of like they've tried this way they've tried that now they're like all right let me make some sense of it and they see that the sense comes in the balance so yeah. when you try to do anything one in one way it's always going to be off balance and i think that that's the key we got to achieve here whether it's dog training in our life whatever's going on it's usually a lack of balance and in our dog world it's usually like most problems either come from like fearfulness or you have dominance and the dominant dogs need to just be brought down a notch to be a little more considerate and the fearfulness sure. the confidence and then boom you got the happy and then you have the dogs that are just excited and just need some direction you know and stimulation and, and people just need to be taught how to do it it's just understanding how things work i mean we get programmed every day we're getting dog trained on instagram we're getting dog yeah. trained on, on netflix we're getting dog trained on Amazon. We're getting dog trained on Facebook. So it's all about the psychology and the dopamine kick and then getting that, getting that, that juice level so we stay engaged. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. It's like the, it's the slot machines do it too. You get one and then you get three and then you lose and then you get frustrated. You want to do 10 more and you win 10. And is that keeps us there and engaged. So it's like, if we understand that, then we can play that game on our kids or on our dogs. Or, you know what I mean? And it's not, it's doing it for, with the right intentions, of course. Right, but so, understanding how the mind works and understanding what it is that gets the, the, the brain to say, ooh, yeah, this is fun. Like, I want to do this, not, oh, I'm scared. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not about that. You know, you want to get Stimulation, that. Stimulation, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Love it. And uh, what does somebody do when they're getting attacked by a dog? Um, I, was, I do a PG&E seminar, which is our like, con ed, right? Okay. So, 
It, uh, they, we do seminars where people got to go into property and stuff. I always recommend getting something to catch the dog's bite, you know, taking your shirt off your back and giving, you know, occupy the dog's mouth and now they have nothing. Yeah. You know? so, yeah. Just don't, don't give them, a, I mean, give them an arm if you have to, but that's the last resort. Yeah. You got to try to get yourself to safety, get to a high elevated area or get out of a fence, use the fence to, you know, you know, you help get you the dog off. Yeah. It's a bad situation. Thank <laughs> you. And the last question is, what do you want humans to know about dogs and animals, how they are and what I mean, we can animals, do to yeah, benefit to one another? Right. I think animals are love, you know, they, they, you know, when you walk in the house and everybody can be mad at you at work and all around the world, you know, you'd be mad at you, you know, but you can walk in, that dog doesn't, doesn't hold that judgment unless you just have the bad to that dog. So if you give a dog love, you're going to get love. And, uh, you know, I think that that's the key. I mean, I think that that's what it is. Dogs are love. Yes. And, um, you know, and like I said, tapping into that dopamine, you know, channeling your dog's drive and channeling your dog's uh, motivation. You know, you can learn something from your dog, you know, yeah. and, and us getting disciplined about our goals and things that we want to do. You know, we put the repetition and consistency that we do in the dog training and try to, you know, stay in a dopamine state and not let ourselves get in that anxiety state we're going to be just fine. You know, I think every day is a, a beautiful day. We're all blessed. You know, there's so many people without who aren't here, who are locked away, who are not here to be with us anymore, and who have, you know, you know, physical difficulties, even living every day, you know? So um, I think that, you know, just uh, incorporating just happiness in your life, happiness with your dog, you know, and, you know, you can be, you don't have to have anything, but dog in person, that's ultimate harmony. So that's right. you know, you're good. Please head over to um, Jazz's uh, Instagram. He interacts with his uh, audience and his fans. And we thank you so much for being on this program and good All luck. Right. Thank you. Take care. When Dogs Fly is a coloring book for adults and a meditation guide, it can help you distress your life. Pick one up at Amazon today. Making a Difference is sponsored by Preferred Health Magazine. Please visit www.preferredhealthmagazine.com today and subscribe. Mm -hmm.